Yeah. Go, go, go ahead and do what you're doing. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, so, quote here, you're coming into this game um, just just over a point behind Windward Islands, battling for third place. Uh, you must be, this, you see, this is a, a big opportunity to move up the table this match. Um, uh, definitely. Um, I think when you look back, um, the last game we played against them was really affected. Um, but we know what, when one is not a team to be taken easily. Um, I'm stressing uh, on a very important win against Barbados. Um, one of the things I spoke about, the, the, the licking that we got in Barbados, I think it was only fear that we try and return the favor and the guys. that this game could play in terms of points how important is this game um i think in in in, in every game we're going to we, we try we try to, to get the points um obviously um the season is coming to an end and we have the opportunity to kind of finish in the top three if not even go all the way because um I, I hopefully that 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 game against barbados will help to, 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 to kind of stop them a little bit um but anything is possible this season is still wide open and and, and for me um, it's just to do what we can control and make sure that we maximize in terms of getting the points, as much points as possible. Um, obviously, we just, just to, to, to take the game each step at a time and first the bat, 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 bat um, well. Our bowling is coming along nicely. Um, Terran seems to be coming through his fitness test quite nicely. Um, so it's just a really good thing for us. Um, having the skipper back is, is, is exceptional as well to lead the batting along with Jason, who's just uh, scored 100. So really happy with how things are. Um, the thing for me is to make sure that we don't get uh, complacent or casual and to continue to push it. Yeah, you mentioned having having um, Skipper back in the team. How big a, a, a boost is it at this time to have that? Um, from what I saw from him the last, the last when he was here last and, and, and going into where he had a few run outs, I think I know, I, if I know him any at all, I know he was quite hungry to get some runs. Um, so as I said, um, it's really good for us, him being in the position that he is, he's in and I know he's motivated to get back to where he belongs. Mm -hmm. Um, so that is really good for us. So um, I'm excited with him and the likes of him and Jason and even Sharky down the order, Imran Khan. Um, that is that is good for me and a really good lineup in terms of our batting. Young Cooper and um, Kyle gave us a good two, a 45 and a 650 plus start, um, which is key in terms of us posting a really good total. So I, like as I said, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. And it's but like I said, it's not for us to get complacent and to continue to work hard. What about your, your old cricket? You're happy with how that is coming along? And I mean, that has been a concern all season yeah. and beyond that. Um, uh, one of the things I spoke about this morning is the catch um, that young C for Scooper took to this, dismiss the Barbados captain. And those are the things we talk about in terms of winning matches. If we're going to win matches, those are the things that we will have to do to make those half chances into chances. And um, the guys have been doing a lot of work and extra catching and stuff. So um, we have been dropping a few, few, fewer catches. Um, we, it's not totally 100%, um, but we, the, the thing is that we're improving. And, and for me, that is, that is what I would like to see. And, and the guys continue to work hard on the catching. You must be happy as well with um, the way you, you seem to have a, a useful opening attack now. Well, well, yes. I, I think um, for me over the years, I think um, because of the amount of spin bowling that has been dominating regional cricket, I think we have kind of the easiest thing seemed to be when I took over last year to drop the fast bowlers. It's always you know okay. I went into a 50 over game uh, with tournament with two fast bowlers. So I think if given the opportunity, um, yes, I lost on the wicket in Barbados, but I think it's wickets like that is needed for us to continue to grow as a region. Um, so it, it's, it's, except, it's really exciting with the, the four guys that I have around, um, Terence as, as I mentioned, Utman, you know, showing real good progress and, and, and showing real good form. And of course, um, big, uh, Andy, which is a senior pro, um, coming back and really looking like he, 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 did, he did what he, what the, all the hard work that was required to get back to full fitness. So I am really happy with what I'm seeing from my fast bowling unit. Um, Akilo San in the spin department, Imran Khan. So we, we have a good balance to finish off the season, guys that are healthy and, and it gives the selectors a good headache. Does it matter at this point whether you bat first or second in this match? You think uh, how important you think the, the cross would be in this in this game it, given what you've seen on this pitch? Yeah, the, the pitch the pitch for me has held up. Um, I think when we looked at the pitch on the first day last game, I think a lot of people assumed that the game would be over quite quickly, but the, the pitch held up really nicely. So I think it's only in the fourth day, um, which is not a bad thing. Um, so I, it's it's for us is to make sure that we put good scores. If we bat second, we put a good score on the, two, on, on the table first innings, and, and that will carry us into the fourth innings. But um, as I said, of course, winning the toss, I think on our wicket, you, you know, would be a good thing to make the decision playing at home. But 
even if we don't, we have the resources to do what is required to win the game. Okay. Take that. Thanks, sir. Hey, man. No problem. Okay. Captain supposed to come here. Want to hold the mic for me? Yeah. I don't like that whole mic thing like... Darren, you know, we for a while, it must be good to be back with the team. Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate um, the team on a wonderful performance in the last game. And yeah, I'm, some, I'm just looking forward to the next encounter starting tomorrow. Did it surprise you the result against Barbados given what happened in the first match? Um, not really. Uh, I think um, I think as long as you put a very good total on the board in the first innings, it's all of, it, it sort of set up the game for you. I uh, thought the likes of Anderson and Uthman Muhammad, especially on a flat wicket, the way they went about their business was tremendous. And collectively as a team, I think they played pretty well. I'm um, looking at the game on the stream um, and speaking to some of the guys as well. So I'm happy for them. And the fact that we come out on top in that particular game will give us the confidence going into this game. Yeah, how big a uh, uh, win you think it is in the context of your season? Because you come into this game just less than two points behind when what's worth three. So how important is that win and how important is this match for your, for your season? Um, to be honest, uh, we can't really win the tournament, but at the same time we can actually come second if we win all our remaining matches. So it's very important that we we do well in this next game here. I, as I mentioned to them before, it's important that we take it one game at a time. Um, as long as we execute our particular roles and responsibility, I think that in itself is going to be a plus and the results will take care of itself. So hopefully things go according to plan in this particular game. Um, Jason Mohammed got a, a century in the last game. I suppose you're not, you're not surprised by that. Uh, something he accustomed to doing. Uh, whenever he have a bit of low scores, he tend to have a sort of resilience and in the in bounce back. I'm happy for him. Um, he's one of our most senior players. Obviously, we do have the likes of uh, Evan and, and Dennis Ramlin, just to name a few, and stuff like that. So it's always good when your senior player is performing. That will give the other guys, the younger guys, that sort of uh, motivation and stuff like that. So I'm happy for him, and hopefully he can continue and you know, just be as consistent as much as possible. And you, you must be happy to see but in terms, in terms of the younger players, the way um, Joshua December has been going about his business. Yeah, I'm happy for him as well. Um, he's been doing tremendously well, but at, at the end of the day, he needs to carry on and get the bigger scores. Um, he's doing all the hard work and for some reason, he's giving his wicket away. But having said that, it's a learning curve for him. He's only now you know, getting used to cricket at this level. Obviously, he's wicket keeping as well, so he's doing a tremendous job and hopefully he can continue. As I said, it's just a matter of him trying his best to convert those, big, those 70s and 80s into 100s. Um, so I'm, I'm sure he can do it. Um, he's someone always working on his game and stuff like that. So let's see how it goes. What do you think it would be key for to win to get over even what's in this match? Really? Um, I always believe in setting up the game in your first innings. Um, if we bowl well, we have to try to get them as low runs as possible. And if we do bat first, it's important that we put a competitive score on the board to give our bowlers something to work with. Um, obviously, it's not a wicked that we can actually blast teams out, but it's important that we play a patient game and take our chance to that much as possible. Um, as I said, I believe in setting up the game in the first innings. So hopefully we, we do well in that aspect. Yeah, finally, uh, you just back from Sri Lanka. First out in the rest of for a little while. How have you felt here? It was good. That it was good. Um, I enjoyed my time out there. Um, we didn't really play the way we wanted to play in all of the games. I think in the last game, we, we, the intensity and our commitment was on a much higher level. Um, it's a learning curve. Um, as a young team, you know, Paul has been doing a fantastic job. I think um, he's getting the players to buy in to the brand of cricket that he actually wants. And um, I'm sure if we continue putting in the, the hard work, we're going to get the results. How you felt about how you played? Yeah, I thought I was playing pretty well. I um, got a couple of runouts here and there, um, which is part and parcel of the game. So we have some work to do there. Um, but I'm happy. Um, I'm, I'm in good. I'm happy with my game at this point in time. So it's just a matter of trying my best to continue performing well. Thank you. Thank you.